Good evening, privates. In today's tutorial, we are going to speak about the different set of maps in Conflict of Nations World War 3, as I am going to help you to understand the differences between them. The first thing you need to know that we have two speeds in this game. 4x speed games and normal speed games. The difference between them is that the 4x speed games they are faster. Your troops will move faster, more resources and also more challenge. Let's start with the easiest map among them, the Flashpoint. A 30 playable nations, it is centered on the world. It is a small map which is designed for new beginners. You can see uh, on the right the list of the players in this map. They are all newcomers in this game. This map is the best one for you to understand the mechanics of the Conflict of Nations World War 3 and to understand how to move your troops, how to build uh, buildings and everything. Also there is the Battleground USA which is an event map designed for the independency of the United States of America. This map is all about the United States, so there are 32 playable states there. Also it is normal speed and also it is suitable for you to understand better the game with slow pace and a minimum of challenge. This is the World War 3 map, normal speed also. This is a whole world map, 64 playable nations, as we will have Canada, United States, Brazil, etc, etc. And you will find more challenge in this one. And there is another version of it in 4 speed. The 4 speed is faster, is harder and it will attract a lot of good players. Now let's move to the Rising Tides map. 100 playable nations here. So you will jo join this one with 100 players. The Rising Tides theme there is in the future which there is the global warming and the levels of waters have been rising which uh, changed the map. Everything will be changed in this one. I like this the design of this map actually because it have new nations, new regions. Let's have a look at this uh, game. I'm going to show you the list of the nations and how is the design from a uh, distance. Okay, so here is the lobby where we can select a nation. You can see in front of you which is a full world map, 100 playable nations. The United States of America is divided into several regions and uh, it's amazing to be honest to uh, discover this game. Now I'm going to speak about my favorite one, the Apocalypse. The 4x speed Apocalypse, the hardest map but also my favorite. I really this one is for good players, to be honest. As a beginner, you will find difficulties in this one because it's fast-paced. You have free warheads and all the research that are available from day one. What I mean by that, by that, because you know, when you join a game, you need to wait for the days to pass. Units will be unlocked. In that case, in this map, everything is unlocked. Here we have a good news, a new update, the Rising Tides will be available in 64 playable nations, which is going to be also amazing. I hope today's video helped you understand better the differences between the, these maps. See you in the next one. See you guys and bye bye.